We are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you'll always have someone to talk to. We have a national network of funeral homes, as well as local knowledge. So we can help no matter where you need us to be. If that's at home, so be it. We'll be there for you. It's all about families and what we can do to make a terrible time better. So there's never two circumstances the same and it's just been able to treat each family on a one-to-one -one basis in the comfort of their own home or in the funeral home. People are paying for it for the service, people are paying for a personal service and that way, you know, when I, when I, when I started doing, doing a funeral director's role, that I always thought that role would be 24-7 and I'm there for those, those people. We'll explain the options you have available every step of the way and provide you with the time, knowledge and confidence to make the right choices for you. We'll make sure everyone you speak to listens to what your needs are and is able to offer help and guidance. We will provide simple guides and information that help explain what is happening and what you may need to think about. We know the rules, we know the regulations, we know the boundaries, but when families come into you, they don't know anything like that. They're completely strange to it. They're lost, they're looking for guidance. And when they come into the, the branch to arrange a funeral, um, then we have to show them the, the human side and make them feel like they're the only people in the world. And I always say that everyone is special and you need to just get a bit of a grasp of exactly what they want. And I like to think that everybody gets a bespoke service. Together, we can create a completely unique and personalised service, the way you want it to be, by listening carefully to what you and your family want and offering complete choice and flexibility in your arrangements. We do always explain in every arrangement the chances are they probably would want a traditional hearse, but we like to give them the choice. Somebody wanted a tractor and trailer because um, the person that passed away was a farmer. If we feel that stopping outside the local pub um, for a minute, just as a mark of respect, that's where he liked to go or she liked to go. If somebody wants a particular piece of music, there's always somebody that can come across with it. It's not uncommon to have a Chinese band or something like that. There's motorcycle hearses. If they would like my boys to wear different colour toys. Uh, taking photographs um, of floral tributes. If they wanted me to arrange a paper, I would arrange a paper. Setting off doves. Uh, we had an old um, lorry converted into a steam train and used as a, as a hearse because the, the gentleman who passed away was a, uh, a train driver. Blowing a referee's whistle um, before a funeral was allowed to start. They can, they can relax knowing that we're a large company and we can cater for anything they need. Just making it personal and individual to, to the family. Nothing, sir. Uh, too much trouble. We will let you know exactly what you can expect from us every step of the way, with clear documentation in plain language. And we will always provide you with a written estimate outlining our charges in a fair and straightforward way. We are truthful, we're honest and we're open and what you see is what you get. Some things they say, oh, I'd like to do that and not think it's possible and then when you tell them it is possible and we can arrange that they're just so delighted that they can actually do like something unique to that person. We just want to make sure that it's sort of like seamless. Most people say oh I thought it would be really really daunting but now I've spoken to you it's not. You made me feel so at ease. We understand our service is only as good as our people who look after you and your family. That's why we continually invest in our people to provide a professional, respectful service. We ensure that our people have access to regular and ongoing training and accredited professional qualifications. And we only recruit people who can demonstrate the behaviours required in our business. The training that I've received um, 
It's second to none. It's always investing in what you want to do and where you want to progress to. You've got to do it perfect. Um, there's no room for error. You must be dedicated, you must be professional, you must be caring, compassionate, organised, uh, meticulous. You know, there are so many qualities that all have to be wrapped up into one. I remember when I took the embalming course, there was a line in the book that said, this is the last service you will ever do for anybody. Let it be good. And I hope that I live up to that every day. If a family say to another family, if Finlay still works there or if so-and-so still works there, as for them, can I get better than that? And we're ambassadors for the, the business at the end of the day. I think the most satisfaction comes from doing the job right, doing it well. It's a privilege to be in this job. I love what I do. Um, and the caring doesn't stop because somebody's passed away. It's still somebody's member of their family. And I feel honoured that I'm there to look after them. <laughs> this job is the best job in the world. Um, I've got the opportunity to do so much good. It's just fabulous. You know, people come to me when they are at their lowest ebb and they look to me for guidance and, and help and I can give it to them. We are the Cooperative Funeral Care and this is our promise.